Hello. About a week and a half ago, we had a women's retreat uh, entitled Created to Be here at Chelton. And this was a unique retreat for us because we partnered with Keystone Montgomeryville to uh, bring this retreat to the women of both churches. And from the start, we knew this was going to be a different feel. We brought teams together from both churches and it was very exciting to see how these women work together, how they set aside their preferences, how they set aside their way of doing things, their comfort zones, to really seek the Lord for what he would have for this retreat in this time. And I wanna tell you that in a day when society tends to divide us and when church division is a common thing, it was a very meaningful thing to come together in this way with this group of women and praise the Lord together. Uh, one of the cool things that happened is we had different teams and they were each led by someone on our court team. And the prayer team was led by a woman named Rosie. And on Friday morning, the Friday of the retreat, we gathered together to pray in the church in Shelton in the worship center. And she challenged us that in our prayers, we would imagine we were standing in Sunday and now pray, thanking him for the things that he had done Friday and Saturday. So we would stand in Sunday and thank him for what he had already accomplished Friday and Saturday. And this was a cool thing because at the end of the retreat, um, I was speaking to her and she said all the prayers were answered and they were, they really were. I share this with you because here we are in Holy Week, right in the midst of it, and Sunday is the resurrection. Sunday is Easter, the day that we celebrate. He is risen, He is risen, He has risen. And I was thinking this week how cool it would be for us to stand in the resurrection, stand in Sunday, and thank Him for what He's done in our hearts this week to stand in the resurrection and thank you for the times and the places that he stood with us in the hard things, in the difficult places that we're in in our lives, through the sorrows of our lives, knowing that he is risen and he is alive and he is standing with us in those things. So today, I just want to say to you, um, as you go into these last few days of Holy Week, rejoice in the Lord, praise him with all your heart, Give thanks to him because you are loved, you are loved, you are loved.